So one of the best, so testing day. One of the best advice I was given is to just completely relax the day before your exam. Uh, don't study at all, don't even look at material, just relax, do something fun. Uh, that kind of wasn't really the case for me because I had an award ceremony I had to host like one hour after my MCATs. So I actually had to prepare for that, which made me a little bit more stressed. Um, probably wasn't the best decision. Well, I didn't really choose to, the day of it, but um, if possible, please, please, please try to relax before your MCATs. Um, definitely drive to the testing facility beforehand so you know what it's like. Go in. What I did was about two weeks before my MCATs, I drove um, to my testing center. I sat down. It was an open room. Sat down. Sat in the chair. Breathed in the air. Got a, you know, got familiarized with the smell, with the carpets. I used the bathroom, so I was familiar with the bathroom, familiar with the layout. Um, and that made me a lot more comfortable during actual test day. Dress comfortably. Um, dress in something that you can think well in. Uh, if you wear skinny jeans but they cut off your circulation, please don't wear skinny jeans during an exam. Uh, wear what you feel most comfortable in. I personally like to dress up a little bit, makes me feel better, so I did. I think I wore like a nice polo, khakis, comfortable running shoes. Um, bring snacks, bring food. It's a long exam. You should know this because you have taken tons and tons of practice exams and you know that it's an endurance event. So I think I brought, I think, uh, a large tea, cranberries, dry cranberries, and beef jerky. And in between every break, I just go munch on that, keep my blood sugar up, keep my mind functioning, keep myself comfortable. Um, so whatever your comfort food is, bring some of that. They give you a locker. Oh, so, so into the steps. You, you go in, you register, uh, you, well, you register online and then you check in at the facility the day of. They'll give you a locker and the locker is yours to keep for the duration of the test. You open up the locker, you can put what you want in it. So I put all my food in there, closed it, and I got there about an hour early. So I just kind of sat there, closed my eyes, kind of took like a semi-nap. I had a nice conversation with somebody I met there. So just relax, relax as much as you can. And they'll call your name up and when you get called up, you sign a couple waivers uh, online so you check right on the you know credit card signer thing enter they take fingerprints of like both your fingers because when you leave the room you have to check back in every time um, and they use your fingerprints to make sure it's you and you also have to sign out every time you enter and leave the room so you go into the room and it might differ testing facility to testing facility but mine was a really big room uh, probably the size of like a 30 person classroom with cubicles. They were really white cubicles and fairly comfortable chairs. So you'd go in your cubicle and it was dead silent. Uh, if you didn't even like the sound of people breathing, they had like these giant headphones you could put over yourself um, if you like any noise. They gave you one piece of scrap paper and I think two pencils and that was it. Uh, it was a standard, let's say like 20 inch monitor. Uh, I think it was a PC and they had a really nice comfortable mouse and that's all you were given. Use the mouse, click on all the buttons, go through the test. Every time you had to take a break or when you finish the test you got to take a break. You click break, they have a 10 minute timer on, you leave the room, you go out into like the waiting room area, you fingerprint to make sure it's you, sign out and that's when I like to eat, I like to go to the bathroom, relax, I did some push ups just to kind of get my blood flowing, go back into the exam. So I have really bad test anxiety. Not really bad, but whenever I take a test, I get really anxious, like a normal exam. So I try to try to simulate as many test situations as I could before the exam. However, when I actually did take my exam, uh, when I sat down and I was like, they, they had all these like waivers up. It's like, is this you? Are you really willing to take the exam? Check here if you want. Uh, it was like, like the signature prop. And I kept saying to myself, oh my god, this is the real deal. And I started to freak out a little bit. Um, and I was like, Jay, calm yourself, calm yourself, calm yourself. Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. And I kept telling myself that. But subconsciously, I was incredibly nervous. And I could tell, because as I got like probably 10 minutes into the exam, I felt my heart like start beating. I could feel my pulse as I was thinking. And I was like, shit. This is not good. Um, I think I probably could have gotten like a point or two higher had I been more relaxed. Um, because by the third section, I would just start 
like I could feel my hands and my feet shaking. Um, so I don't know if you know this, but like people, some people do this with their feet when they're just sitting still. I'm one of those people and I normally control it, but during the exam, my feet were just like, Bruh. Um, so I was very much freaking out during the exam, but I just try my best to keep calm, 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 calm. Um, so hopefully you don't have test anxiety. If you do, try to prepare yourself for it. Uh, whatever calms you down, do that. I, in between breaks, before when I went to the bathroom, I went outside in the middle of the hallway, just started doing like clapping push-ups, just to, you know, kind of get some blood, burn some calories, and just kind of calm myself down so I didn't have some, that much energy. Also, during the exam, there will be a timer in like the corner of the screen. If you took the practice exam, it's in the exact same location. I wouldn't be that focused on time, but check every once in a while. Have a general idea of how far you are, how far you need to be, and if you really do need to speed up. Um, most times I found that if you do practice exams a lot, you'll know when you need to speed up and how fast you can speed up. So like if you know you're halfway in the test, but you use like 75% of the time, you know, oh, I need to speed up just a little bit to catch up. Or some people know that, hey, I've used up way too much time considering the amount I've done. I need to speed up a lot. I need to skip some questions and go to some easier ones because I know that's what's best for me. Um, so yeah, take practice exams and you'll know just how to treat time in the real one. So the time is in the right location. All the buttons are exactly, exactly the AMC ones. Um, and the questions they ask are very similar. They ask the same, not similar, but they ask the, what you expect, uh, especially in like the verbal reasoning. They give you a topic. What do you think about this? What do you think the author was thinking? Is this a good thing or a bad thing? Um, is there proof for this or not? Um, so they ask a very similar question that I do in the practice test. Very similar for both all your sciences, and um, I'm assuming that would be the same in 2015 for your psychology and sociology. So anyways, at the end of all three sections, you press enter. They ask, do you want to void your exam? Yes or no? Um, unless you feel completely like you just did horrible, uh, most likely you did okay, but you're just overthinking it. I would, unless you know for a reason that you did completely bad, I would not avoid it. I would send my score, so I press check. Yes, I left the room, fingerprinted it again. They said, have a nice day. Um, I ran outside, and I went in my car. I turned on uh, Rick Ross, hold me back, and I started just blasting, um, driving down highway. And um, I... I think I took the test with a lot more stress and if I could change things I would have be scheduled to a day where I had much less stress because I had literally had to go back to an award ceremony where I had to, you know, host it. As far as test taking, relax, come prepared, be familiar with your environment, be familiar with the test, bring snacks. Um, do what's most comfortable for you. So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or want to know more about anything, please leave me a comment below. I'll probably check my comments on a daily basis. Uh, like my video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, thank you very much for watching. I know you do great on the MCATs. Good luck. Alright? Thanks, guys.